Hello everyone, in this short video we will be learning about the external features of radius bone. Okay, so first of all radius is which type of bone? It is an example of a typical long bone. Okay, and it has got two ends and a shaft in between. Okay, and this radius is of which side can you all say? We are looking the radius from the anterior aspect. Okay, this is the anterior view and this is the posterior view. Okay, this radius is of right side. Why it is of right side? So for that we have to say this styloid process should be facing on the lateral aspect. The head of the radius is on the superior aspect and on the posterior aspect there is an elevation that's referred to as dorsal tubercle of Lister. Okay, so that should be on the posterior aspect. So this is the radius of right side. Okay, and upper end of the radius has got three important features. One this circular part that's referred to as the head of the radius. This constricted part is referred to as neck of the radius and this projection here that's referred to as the radial tuberosity okay then shaft of the radius has got three borders and three surfaces out of which one border would be very prominent this border is referred to as the interosseous border okay other two borders are not very clear there are there is an anterior border posterior border as well okay and there are three surfaces anterior surface posterior surface and a lateral surface okay and as we see the lower end of the radius, lower end has got this projection called as styloid process that we had seen in side determination. And there is an anterior smooth surface. Posteriorly, there is a elevation that's referred to as dorsal tubercle of Lister, very important for uh, determining the side of radius. Okay, and there is a surface on the inferior aspect. So this is an inferior articular surface for the wrist joint it articulates with the scaphoid and the lunate bones so this was about the external features of the radius bone and uh, which joints are formed by this bone upper end of the radius it forms the elbow joint then lower end of the radius it forms the wrist joint and radius articulates with ulna at three sides okay there is a superior radio ulnar joint there is a middle radio ulnar joint and there is a inferior radio ulnar joint okay Superior and inferior radio ulnar joints are pivot variety of synovial joint and middle radio ulnar joint the interosseous membrane which is there that is a syndesmosis type of fibrous joint. Okay. So this was about external features of the radius in next uh, video we will be covering the attachments of the radius and related applied anatomy. Okay. Thank you.